in. <laughs> okay, we are a few minutes late. I apologize. I'm Devin with Homeschool House School Homeschool House Calls and Professional Home Educator, and we are here tonight with Susan from Homeschool and Super Moms. We are Hi everybody. We are our speaker is Tamika Petaway. Petway. Petaway. Petway. <laughs> I'm awful with that. I always try to add that extra syllable. Um, <laughs> we have known each other forever. She is awesome. She did one of our, um, you did an unschooling one, didn't you? For the transition, yeah. which mm -hmm. was awesome. And you've done unit studies for me before. She, yes. everything she teaches is great. Thank she, you. I, you're one of my favorite. And um, tonight we're talking about homeschooling with Legos. Yes. I'm very excited about that because I have a huge box of Legos in my living room and we play with it. But right. I never thought of being outside the box with it. Right. So we're live streaming into two groups. I hope everyone enjoys it. And we're just going to turn it over to Tamika. Yeah, before we do turn it over to Tamika, though, if you guys have questions for her, we're going to monitor the chat and we will make sure that we um, target those questions to Tamika. So um, also Tamika does some really cool posts. She's like really into nutrition. And yeah. She's quite the inspiration to homeschooling moms. So mm -hmm. Welcome thank to you. Tamika, and I'm going to hand it over to you. So thank you. Well, thank you. And so sorry that I was a little tardy this uh, this evening. <laughs> it's always one thing or another when you're at home, of course. Yeah. Um, but I'm so happy to be here. I love uh, doing these workshops for Devin. These are awesome. I always have such a great time. And um, I will end up talking way, way, way too much. So <laughs> never enough. <laughs> too fast or if I'm moving because I can be Miss Chatty Cathy and um, and kind of go way off on <laughs> on these topics. But I absolutely love uh, homeschooling with Legos. And uh, mainly because, well, who doesn't have a box of Legos sitting somewhere in their kid's room or living room, hidden somewhere? Um, who doesn't have like a million of them? And whose mm -hmm. kids really don't, you know, love Lego? I mean, everyone's kid, really loves Lego. And so they would actually prefer to be building with Lego than doing any other type of work. Yeah. Whatsoever. And so I love to incorporate things that interest kids into their regular core curriculum. And that's how I kind of came up with the idea of um, doing a unit study for with Lego, mm -hmm. um, particularly across curricular things uh, other than just building and other than just STEM, because we know Lego is, you know, um, is a STEM mm -hmm. and um, is a STEM activity and kids use it to build things and, you know, things like that. But how about using it with math and writing and uh, some language arts and some of the other things that we want to get them interested in. So, um, what I do is I usually have like a week or a month, depending on how the, you know, the kids are going, um, how interested I can keep them. <laughs> um, but usually we'll have like a whole week of homeschooling with Lego and we'll do things like um, math activities. Here's one of my favorites. This one is very simple, very easy. It's just Lego in a jar. And this is a math activity and I'll put it out in a box with a sign that says, guess how many Lego? Whenever we start doing our math camp or anything like that, we can add this to this. And this is our guesstimation station. And so the, I will, of course, know how many Legos are in the jar because I painstakingly <laughs> found each piece of Lego that goes in the jar. And then I start introducing the topic to them about uh, what estimation is and how we go about getting estimation. So this is a just fun, quick activity that we can do. And um, another thing that I have, I have these cups and on each one of the cups, I'm trying to get, okay. <laughs> on each one of the cups is a different number from one through five. And basically what I have the kids do is to come out and pick a cup they don't know what we're going to do with the cups. I don't tell them anything. Just pick a number. And I do some. I do things with the numbers later. Um, but then I have them to grab a handful of Lego. I tell them, just go to the Lego box. Fill your cup with Lego. Any type of Lego pieces that you want, put it inside your cup. And then that's their personal 
um, estimation station. And a little bit later on, I'll tell them things like, if you have the number three on your Lego, on your Lego cup, that means you get to pick three minifigures or three cars, or you get three additional pieces, or so they'll have to do something with that number on their cup. And so what I do is I have them to look at their own cup and say, well, how many pieces do you think might be in your Lego cup? And then I have them to count them and then they actually can build something with them after they um, count the pieces mm -hmm. and then they can build something with that. They absolutely love doing this because no one knows what the numbers are gonna be for and I usually change it around um, every time I do it. And something else that goes with that is this, I got this from Teachers Pay Teachers of course, because I, I have not reinvented the wheel. There is There are other moms out there who have, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see it. That's good. Okay. So this is uh, the Lego cup challenge basically. And it, you know, tells you what to do. Like I said, I got this from Teachers Pay Teachers. I think it was like a dollar or $2. And I think it was, um, or it could have been free. A lot of stuff I get for free too. But it um, explains what they're going to do, and then they have to draw a picture of what it, whatever it is that they um, chose with their, um, what they built. And so that is one really fun math activity that we do um, with the estimation. Another, well, let's just stick to math. I don't want to get sidetracked. I have here a couple of math boxes. I have these little Sterilite containers. <laughs> I love these things. <laughs> They're so handy. But um, this one is, oh no, that one is the STEM one. Ah, here it is. This one is my fractions with Lego. And basically I printed these Lego cards out from Teachers Pay Teachers. I think it was like $6.50 mm -hmm. for 495 pages. And two, wow. yeah, two task cards was on each page. So two per page. So that's over a thousand task cards. Absolutely fabulous. You can wow. print it all out or pick what you want. But I picked out all the ones that dealt with um, fractions, basically. And so this first one is create for the fraction five eighths using Lego pieces. And inside the box is a tiny box of you guessed it, Lego pieces. And I've already programmed one here. So this is very simple. They would have to try to figure out if they have eight of the exact same type of Lego and then how to change one over to be the one on eighth or was it five eighths? Yeah, five eighths. So then they would have to change this one. Let's make five blue, six, seven, eight and take three away. And now we've got Five out of the eight Lego are blue. And so this is a lot of fun. And not only do they use the task cards that are in the box, but I also fill the box with worksheets that have to do yeah. with actions. And you can print these out from Teachers Pay Teachers or you can go online or create your own uh, fractions worksheets that will go along with them. So they love working with boxes like these. Mm -hmm. This is just another one of the um, math boxes. And of course, you can use Lego to add, to subtract, to multiply, to divide um, using the, and I'm sitting at my Lego table now. So <laughs> if I can pull out one of my Lego. Oh, there it is. Base plates. I was looking for a base plate. <laughs> So uh, basically on one of the base plates, you would have them, you would show them how to divide using um, the Lego, show them also how to multiply, having three sets of four different colors of Lego, three times four equals, well, let's count them all together. And of course you're, you're doing multiplication. So it's a great visual way for them to add, subtract, divide, and to multiply using Lego. Um, and they're actually, um, there's a set of books. I have not purchased the physical hard copy of the books, 
but they sell them on Amazon. It is the um, multiplication with Lego, using Legos, and they're about $8. But oh, if you know, yeah, oh, they're absolutely cool. They have the multiplication, division, uh, addition, and subtraction. And um, I think it is, if you have the unlimited, it's absolutely free. Well, it's, it comes with the membership. And so I think that's that's how I was able to download it. Um, but I love those books because they actually give you uh, different work ideas, different uh, worksheet ideas, rather, using the base plate and the Legos. So I love those. So look for those on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. Now, I think we'll talk a little bit about writing. This one is my writing Lego bin. Another one of these. <laughs> and What's really cool, I never thought you could use Legos for writing assignments. That um, is so right. awesome. Right, exactly, exactly. And the kids love doing anything with the Lego because they know they get, they get to build. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some math and some writing with it, but guess what? I actually get to build and they love yeah. that. And because I do allow them the opportunity to build, you know, within reason, of course, cause you know, some of them can go all day. It's like, well, we have more, you know. Um, so I will sometimes put a little timer next to them and say, okay, you have about 25, 30 minutes to finish this build. And then you have to do the writing portion because they'll just build all day and forget about the writing. So we do, we do have a question. Um, sure. I actually figured out that I can put the question on the screen. Can ah, you, can you post post links to the, the teachers pay teachers items that you've shared? You'll, you'll post links in the below the video. Oh yes, I can. Or you can send them to me and I'll post them. Okay. That's even better. Cause you know, I'm horrible at, <laughs> Just send me the list the and put, stuff. It, put it in all the places. Okay. Yeah, I'll send you those. And um, <clears throat> so these are, I did get these also off of Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, as you can see, I usually fall down a rabbit hole when I get on mm -hmm. <laughs> TPT, you know. Um, but uh, this was $3.50. And it came with 195 pages. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So cool. And they have all black line, which is great because everyone doesn't like printing in color. I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. And so uh, basically this one says this one has this box has six different challenges that I put inside the box. The first challenge says. Build something using Legos. Describe what you see, including colors, shapes, sizes, and design. Use descriptive language like adjectives and adverbs. And so I laminated these because I also included these little um, books from Target. Love these, mm -hmm. um, what do you call them, blank books from yeah. Target. So the kids can use this for their writing and drawing uh, whenever they're using this. So they're going to do their build and then they're going to write after. So again, I always use a timer with these because they will go over and forget that they have to do the writing portion. Mm -hmm. So they work within their little timer. Um, and I, I bought a, a case of these little seven timers. Love the timer thing, by the way. I mean, just side yeah. note on that. Um, kids love a visual that they can see how, how much time they actually have to work on something. I'm, I mean, of course, if they want to work more or longer, it's absolutely mm -hmm. perfect that they do that. But when you have that kid that, that does something really quickly and I'm done and you're going, wait, <laughs> it's only been five minutes, you know? Yeah. So those timers absolutely love them. Take one battery and then each kid can get their own timer. <clears throat> so I love this, but it's got tons of Lego in it, and it is a great way to do a um, Lego writing assignment with that. Um, would you like to hear some of the other challenges? Because I only read one challenge. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's what I said I can kind of move kind of quickly. Uh, the second challenge says create two Lego designs using exactly 15 Lego bricks in each design. Write a paragraph telling how your designs are alike. 
write a paragraph describing how your designs differ. Oh, neat. Isn't that great? Yeah. That's awesome. Love that. Uh, challenge number three says, use Lego pieces to create your favorite dessert. Then write the directions for someone else to make that dessert. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. That's a fun one. And I think these um, can be used for, they can be modified for kindergarten on through probably fifth or sixth grade. Mm -hmm. can use these. Um, because my kindergartner loves to try to inventive spell and do some things on his own. Um, <clears throat> use Lego blocks to construct an item to give to someone that you care about or to show how much you love and appreciate them. Write about that person who is special to you and explain what makes them so special. Don't you just love that oh, one? I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, and February is here with, uh, it was almost here anyway with um, Valentine's coming up. This would be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Love that. And so the, um, I have only six challenges that I printed out, but it has, um, like I said, 195 pages. Each challenge has about three pages per challenge because they also have um, pages where there are spaces i think i did one of those yes one of the pages looks kind of like this where there's a space for you to draw for the kids to oh, draw nice. right at the bottom and then the other ones are just lines yeah. and then yeah it was just two different versions of the same thing per challenge and 195 pages which i think you get about maybe 40 or so of the challenges maybe a little bit more i'm not doing my math correctly here but maybe a little bit more challenges. And so I love that. They can have a writing assignment to do if you're doing an entire week or month of Lego, they'll have a writing assignment for the entire, for every day, every day. So <clears throat> I, I totally love that. And let's see what else do we have here? I think this one, we all know that we can use Lego for STEM. So this one is really cool because this is the uh, stem box, one of the stem boxes that I create with Lego. So this one is you and your friends decide to build a tree fort, design it and construct it. Nice. And there are uh, dozens of these cards along with these as well. I got these from Teachers Pay Teachers. Mm -hmm. I print and laminate these. I printed them and then I glue, I cut and glued them onto index cards, laminated the index cards so that I will never ever have to do that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know how that is, right? Yeah, yeah. And so things just last longer. So me and my laminator, my laminator and I are just- you Your know, best friends. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I turn everything into a game. You know, I homeschool five kids and so, if I don't have to make copies, I don't. And if I do make copies, oh, I'm laminating them bad boys, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was telling Susan earlier that I would do our math workbooks in page protectors so that I could reuse it for the next kid. Right, right, yeah. exactly, exactly. I mean, it's just the, the perfect thing to do. And so I have these, um, now these cards aren't specific to Lego. They were really more, um, I think it was STEM challenges, but I also use these with Lego. Uh, design a, a piece to go on a playground. That's one card they could choose. Design a bug trap to hold three small bugs. They can build with um, Lego. Design a barrier to stop the waves. And so um, these cards, I love them because not only can you use them with Lego, but you can use them with other materials. We also use them with popsicle sticks and um, building blocks and yeah. just all, all sorts of things. I bring out my recycling bin because we recycle um, everything. I, I, I have a hard time throwing things away. <laughs> throwing things away that could be a future art project or something like that. Yeah. So <laughs> shoe boxes, toilet paper tubes, you know. Mm -hmm. works we keep and so we use those for building things and we use these cards for those things um as well um another fun way that we keep our lego week going is 
my kids go crazy over these mini figures. Okay, I, I don't know about anyone else's, but these mini figures have caused many a fight in my home. <laughs> I think they've caused many, many fights in a lot of households. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's like we have dozens of these and they'll fight over the heads and the feet and the, oh my gosh. Oh my. But um, they love these things. They're like, I mean, you know, they're like money for the kids, you know? And so what I do is I have them at the beginning of the week, choose a minifigure. Plain and simple, go build you a, a minifigure. You're not allowed to put a hat on him, nothing on his hands, nothing nothing anywhere because they have to earn those little pieces the the accessories that go with it they earn those yeah. as the week go along yeah and they have to take care of their mini figure and keep keep up with it okay and take care of it for the entire time that it's lego week or lego month which is hard for a month <laughs> but you know they try <laughs> they try and so what they also use them for is to play other games. So mm -hmm. we have other games like Monopoly or any other game where you have to have a moving piece. They That's use their true. little Lego minifigure as that moving piece. And so this is who they are for the week. That is okay. awesome. That yeah, is I love funny. that idea. And they I love, love how you can use it with chores. Like you said, you know, right. it does, I mean, you could do it with schoolwork or chores and mm -hmm. they can earn, you know, whatever, like you said, a hat or a, Right. Whatever they want to put in their hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love mm -hmm. it. All the accessories, all the hairs and different things like that. Mm -hmm. They love collecting those little things and putting them in a little box and dressing yeah. their minifigure. And at the end, I mean, turning in an assignment gets you, you know, an accessory. Go pick one accessory yeah. for your minifigure. You turned in that assignment. Awesome. You know, I mean, something That's smart. Just as simple as that, and they get to That's keep them. You have Lego obsessed kids in your house, right? And I do. I always every group of kids I teach are always obsessed with these little guys here, and I've got dozens of these things, but yet they will still argue over like that one. <laughs> that one. I saw so, I, I use these and that's one of the other things that I do with the cups is tell them, you know, okay, you get too many figures in yours or you get two cars or three cars with yours and, you know, go build something with your minifigure. Maybe your minifigure earned a car this week because of, you know, you turned in several assignments. And so now you got to, you get to actually build a car. And so that's one of the things that we can do with, um, with that. Mm -hmm. And we also include art. A lot of times with our Lego, we have them to design different things that they want to build. So before they actually get to touch any of the Lego, I want you to build something. And so part of the art is uh, build a tree house. Um, what would you have in your tree house? Especially because we're reading the 13th story tree house series mm -hmm. um, by Terry and Andy. I love those guys. I mean, we love the, that series. And so the kids have to actually design their own tree house. Mm -hmm. What would you put in that tree house? So they, then they get to sit down and draw and do all this other kind of stuff. And then mm -hmm. I let them loose on the Lego. <laughs> After they show me their art, they get to, okay, how can you actually put that into practice using the Lego pieces? Yeah. What, do you, what will you need, you know, um, in order to build your tree house? Mm -hmm. So um, just the key, um, I mean, we, no one has, I don't know anyone that has enough space to store all their kids' Lego creations forever and a day. No. So, <laughs> so I would not have you guys to build with Lego and then not have any space for <laughs> where to put their things. Uh -huh. I mean, we, we all have that problem, right? Because the kids yeah. never want to destroy it. Oh no. Never. Yeah. No, I'm still playing with it, even though I never touched it. I haven't touched it in over a week. <laughs> yep. You know, so what we do is we take pictures with it. Turn around, I'll take your picture and we'll do that. And if I need to print that picture out for them to put in their scrapbook, we can do that. Okay. But we as long as it's a Lego out, Hall of Fame. Okay. There you go. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. And then, of course, we have to have a, what's called a Lego demo day. Oh, fun. Yeah. So much fun. Why? Because they actually get to demo 
everything that they created and clean it up. But guess what? They get to demo it by dropping it onto the floor. Well, we put a sheet or a blanket out, of uh -huh. course. And they get to stand up on a chair or a stool or whatever and just kind of drop it down and see, you know, whose is going to splatter or splash and explode <laughs> the biggest. But guess what? Nobody's crying because their piece got broken or their art is, I mean, because, oh my gosh, how many tears have we dried because someone came along and broke another one's yeah. creation, right? So, Demo day is always a lot of fun because, well, you know, it's what the day is created for. <laughs> so yeah. we make it fun. And they love to see things crash and explode. And well, Miss Tamika, can we can we throw ours together if we stand on opposite ends? Oh yeah, as long as you're not throwing it at each other. Sure. <laughs> Let's see what happens, right? What happens if yeah. I toss mine from off the bookshelf and knock it down? Okay, well, let's see. So, well, that's science, right? Right. <laughs> what's to happen, right? Absolutely. We start what's going to happen? So we do a lot of that um, as well. And um, speaking of science, Lego is perfect for science. Yay! And one of my favorite um, science Lego science activities, of course, is um, how fast do things move? Well, using wheels. And I used to do a lot of this with the, um, what do you call those things? <laughs> the little cars, the Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hot wheels oh. tracks and cars. But I found that um, do, throughout my Lego challenges or my Lego theme weeks, the kids love building their own cars. So they actually have to build a car. And we, we talk about velocity, we talk about speed and friction and what causes it. And, um, how can you get your car to move faster, incline planes? And um, then we start talking about all types of other simple machines. Well, Legos are filled with simple machines. And so we began to use um, Lego in that aspect. And they have a blast with it. Cardboard tubes and Lego cars, okay? And some painter's tape. There you have it, okay? Awesome. It's pretty much basically all you need um, and you can get that from the dollar store. You can get the painter's tape from the dollar store. Don't go buy the big $5 one <laughs> because you'll cringe every time you see them rip it like this. <laughs> you'll be like, wait. <laughs> but um, it's very simple, very easy, and they have a lot of fun with it. And they get to build again, well, with Lego. Mm -hmm. um, another one of our favorite Legos is this Cluck makes mm -hmm. these Lego series of books, and uh, this one is movie animation basically, it's stop motion. And I love it, my kids totally love it. I have an old phone that I allow them to use, and they just take pictures of and they learn about stop motion. And inside the book, well, it comes with um, different pieces, these are not the original pieces, by the way. By the way, the kids stick in um, stick what they want in here, but um, it does come with instructions, detailed instructions on how to um, build or make a stop motion movie, and also how to build the set. Nice, that Love is it. amazing. It's about fourteen to eighteen dollars, I want to say. <laughs> so it's a little pricey, but once you buy it, you don't have to buy it again. <laughs> and I absolutely. think this would be perfect for middle school, even high yeah. school. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Well, I have a first grader who uses it. He's yeah. sick. And he wanted to use it too because I have a second grader who is into cameras and you know taking pictures. And so she wanted to learn how to do that. And he was like, I can do that too. And so he did. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Tamika, you got a great comment here. Um, one of the viewers said that you are awesome and if they're wondering if they can mail their 12 year old grandson to you. <laughs> yeah, Tamika is awesome. All That's these great awesome. ideas she's providing, it's a, a wonderful. I mean, holy cow, so many different ways to use Legos and you can mm -hmm. use them from 
very young ages, yeah. uh, like we just said, all the way up to high school, science, art, math, yeah. writing, amazing. Yes. And we I all want to send you our children, people. Tamika. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> well, you can ship them as long as I can ship them home. <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for that. And I have as much fun as the kids, believe it or not. I mean, it's it's the day that I put on my 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 Lego socks and go, okay, my house is about to be torn apart completely, and there's gonna be Lego pieces everywhere for weeks. Cause let's face it, there's always those few stray pieces that you never get picked in the up. middle of the night. Right? Right. Yeah. So <laughs> you steal yourself and you're like, okay, <laughs> I already know what's going to happen, <laughs> but I have a great time with it. Mm -hmm. And um, like I was saying, I had not even touched on what you can do with preschool and kindergarten with Lego, um, using it with the Duplo box. And, mm -hmm. um, and I don't have any more Duplo around because I don't usually do um, preschool anymore, but what I used to do was you can write letters or numbers on the Duplo blocks and have the kids to build building with numbers, build number towers, build the alphabet train. Those are very simple and easy mm -hmm. activities that they can do with the Lego Duplo box. So for those who are looking for preschool and kindergarten activities for their um, beginning readers and kids who are just now learning to recognize their um, letters, that's perfect because then they can learn letter order. They can mm -hmm. stack them in letter order. You can also use them for patterns, um, A, B, A, B patterns and A, A, B, B patterns and so forth in math. I mean, it's great. They can learn sorting, counting. They can, um, I mean, there's so many different things that they can do with the Lego uh, mm -hmm. Duplo. They can also do one of the other um, activities that I forgot to mention with math with my older kids is we do a lot of graphing with them. Um, I used to use those little, um, I used to love to do Skittles, but then I had a hard time trying to get the kids not to eat the Skittles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. I didn't want them to really eat the Skittles because of the dyes. And so, so I would buy them the... Um, the organic dye free ones that would naturally die. But of course you don't have a variety of colors with those. You have like three colors. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, beet color, carrot color, you know? Yeah. And so, um, but Lego became a great substitute for that because we can now graph Lego. How many, um, two stud pieces do you have? Well, let's build a graph of that. How many three stud pieces do you have? How many, of your Lego in your personal cup, how many of your Lego were blue? How many were green? You know, and let's um, go around and find out how many your neighbor had, you know, maybe interview your neighbor and find out what your neighbor had. And now you can find out what the difference is. That's a math problem. Um, I, I love doing those types of um, word problems so that they can figure things out. Um, Another really fun activity that I like to do is I like to hide a Lego mystery bag somewhere. Okay. And I don't have any of them, but it's in a little brown paper bag and mm -hmm. I put a bunch of Lego pieces inside and it's usually the piece to a new set. Okay. So it's usually something inexpensive that I found on sale, you know, mm -hmm. something a couple of dollars at, you know, uh, Walgreens because they have those little $5 sets. And then you just put the pieces in the bag. And you don't put all the pieces in the bag, though, because now it's a scavenger hunt and they have to find all the pieces to the Lego build. Oh, so they're hunting around the house and they're doing different things. But guess what? They're solving math problems because on each one of the clues, there's a math problem. Or you can program each one of the clues with a history question. Maybe you were studying something specific in history you can add a history question to that as well. Because I've used it in many, many different forms, um, which is why we can do this like every other month, we can have a Lego week and still have so many different things to, to cover. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, we can cover many different concepts. 
using that. And the kids love hunting around the house for the different Legos and finding that new set that they actually then get to build and put together and work together. It builds teamwork as well. That's so. awesome. These are great ideas. Talk Thank about you. making learning fun, right? Yeah. Yes. I think yes. I'm going to do this Lego idea with the history. History idea with Lego. Uh-huh. With Olivia. I think I'm going to do the history idea with the Legos. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I hadn't thought about doing that. Yeah. And something else you can do with history is um, we've done where we build landmarks. So mm -hmm. you can choose a landmark, whatever, if, whatever you're studying in geography, you mm -hmm. can choose a landmark and have them to build that landmark. Or you guys can work together and build one of the landmarks. Nice. Same thing when you're studying a person in history. Um, one of the things that we like to do is um, do the doc, the brickumentary is what it's called. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, the I have. Documentary? No? No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hold the phone. I should have started there. <laughs> Everyone has got to see the Lego brickumentary. Yeah. Yeah. It's a documentary about how Lego got started. And it's this very, very cute cartoon that's about 23 26 minutes long, not very long at all. The kids can really sit through it and totally love it. And they can research the history of how Lego got started mm -hmm. and the country that Lego first began. And I mean, you can tie that into geography and begin to study that. They love that. That's they have awesome. That idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Timika, you're giving some great ideas to help us think outside the box because mm -hmm. typically we think of Legos and I think of, you know, I think of fractions and things like that. But mm -hmm. you are giving mm -hmm. us so many great ideas, like I said, to help us use your ideas and also to help us to start thinking and go, hey, wait a second here. We can think outside the box and really and truly incorporate Legos into so many of our different lessons. Yeah. Yes. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> This I'm is wonderful. <laughs> I know. She's always good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I, you. I love all these creative ideas. And like I said, you have shown us where we can use Legos in math. Like I said, mm -hmm. writing, science, history. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's been amazing. And, yeah. and how you could incorporate it in fun. And I loved your a demo, demo day where they get to demo what yeah. they've created, but also... <laughs> demolish what they <laughs> created without tears because we, right. we've all experienced that with yes. Legos when it came time oh to God. clean up the Legos and take them apart and put them back in the box. The tears start streaming mm -hmm. and that makes it a really fun way to yeah. uh, take those Lego masterpieces yeah. apart right. and get them back in the box. Right. Exactly. That's awesome. Exactly. Yeah. I, I love it too. And they do too. They look forward. To, look, they actually look forward to demo day. When do we get to demo? Wait, well, let's, <laughs> let's finish up first. <laughs> yeah. So and we, when have you ever found your kids that excited about cleanup? <laughs> right. Exactly. I know. That's oh, on demo day. <laughs> um, we had a great comment here. I'm, I'm excited, excited to use these ideas with my kindergartner. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, lots of great ideas from very, very young to like we've mentioned or Tamika has mentioned all the way through high school. I love that, you know, and if you have a child struggling, like let's say in, in math and learning multiplication and addition mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. fractions and stuff like that, you know, we've right. talked about in homeschooling, you know what, if you, this is not a strength for your child, go back to those basics mm -hmm. right. and really build those skill sets up. And what a great and fun yeah. way to do it. I mean, I, I don't know of anybody, even adults love to play with Legos. So I don't yeah. know of anybody yeah. who doesn't love to play with Legos. Yeah. You know, you could probably just kind of throw it out on your breakfast table with a maybe a challenge and do the math. Mm -hmm. And they don't even realize you're trying to refresh their, their skills. Right. So I like sneaky, sneaky learning. Yes. Especially so for someone who's reluctant to do it. I'm mm -hmm. like, I want to find ways to be sneaky. Exactly. So do I. So yeah. do I. And I the left your scavenger hunt. Oh, I'm sorry, go oh, ahead. I'm sorry. I, I was, was just going to piggyback on what Devin was saying. The thought of getting to actually build something with the Lego is mm -hmm. inspiration enough for them to want to do anything else. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Yeah. And I loved your scavenger hunt idea. I mean, how fun mm -hmm. that is. Answer the history question and maybe it's a post somewhere in your house and mm -hmm. now you get the, ne the next piece. And right. I loved it. Your well, ideas I mean, have been honestly, fantastic. Um, Lisa, not Lisa, <laughs> Olivia had her history. Um, she reads a chapter and then there's questions and they call it review, but I call it the test. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, I could do all those review. Mm -hmm. all, and I don't mind spending five dollars a week right. if I'm not being fought by my middle schooler. Right. That, that, that's a win win. Right. It sure is. I mean, because you don't have to get an, an expensive set. I mean, because let's be real. My entire Lego collection is built from sets and pieces that have now been so combined that there's no way they're ever going to build the set again. You know, I used to yeah. have the trouble of keeping the the sets, um, mm -hmm. the booklets in like a binder, mm -hmm. in protectors, in the binders, which I no longer have. I actually gave it to a Lego enthusiast because That's I was cool. like, my kids could care less about building mm -hmm. the set again. Now, when it's fresh and new out of the box, like they're going to love that challenge yeah. and going through and finding that and seeing what it is because they're not going to know what it is that they're building. Because what I do is I don't give them the paper. They actually, they don't get the finished product. You know how, if you look at the Lego building yeah. set, it has just one or two pieces per page yeah. that they have to put together. Well, that's also what they're scavenging for as well. That's amazing. With, with those pieces. So they have no clue what the set is going to look like until it's actually oh. built. That so is awesome. that is piquing their curiosity at the same time. And of course, like I said, we all know they're never going to build these sets again. <laughs> Once demo day happens, I will encourage mama in the box. <laughs> I will encourage mamas. Here's some things I've learned. And those who know me well know that Nick is an eBayer. We have a store. We're not just not just like a hobby thing. It is his business. Right. Legos have high resale value. Do not ever be afraid to buy them because mm -hmm. you will get part of your money back and it's not right. going to be for cents. What right. your Goodwill and your thrift stores, because people will just mm -hmm. throw them out. Mm -hmm. You can get them for a fraction of the cost of what, and I mean, we found Nick bought a, a big, huge tote about 12 pounds for $5 one time at a, at a yard sale. Wow. I, I said, you just stole Legos. Yeah. All the Legos. Oh you my gosh. Him how much it was actually worth. But Amazing. don't ever be afraid to buy Legos. I know they feel expensive, but you can get them cheaper at Goodwill thrift stores. Yes. Sometimes people are just giving them away. Yes. And they have, but don't be afraid to buy them because they have a high right. And even if there's missing pieces, like I'll go into dirt cheap and a Lego set mm -hmm. is open and it looks to me like 90% of the pieces are there. You can order whatever pieces are missing, yeah, missing. Um, from the Lego website for pennies. Yeah. Like, I mean, really. And so as much as I don't always spend a lot of money on a lot of the sets, because I do prefer to buy them from eBay and different places mm -hmm. like that, um, thrift stores. Um, I'm that person that is sweeping up and sweeps that tiny glimmer of Lego into the dustpan. And I'm doing this with my finger going, no, mm -hmm. because <laughs> we're going to be looking for this exact part one day <laughs> and we won't no. find it and it will drive some kid crazy because, because this one it. piece is missing. So um, I do not sweep Lego and throw it away. So uh, one of the, one of the um, Facebook, they said you can also request missing pieces from sets directly from Lego when you buy open sets. Mm. So, you know, you may be able to say, Hey, I bought this at this store. This is missing. And you know, right. Or no, they may send it to you. Right. So yeah, really don't be afraid to buy Legos. That's one. Of, and Nerf guns, not the subject we're talking about tonight. Right. But Nerf guns have high resale value. I'm just going to, I'm just saying, Right. I'm shocked many times what sells on eBay. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, Tamika, I also thought that was a great idea. I've, I, my, all my kids have loved Legos, but particularly mm -hmm. my oldest. Mm -hmm. And you're right. They make the, the masterpiece one time and mm -hmm. then they're done with it. And I would toss out those booklets and really and truly tuck them into an envelope because like, like we said, you mm -hmm. could go anywhere and get the, 
mixed pieces used right. or new or whatever. Mm -hmm. And now you've given them an instruction booklet for free. Yeah. Pass it on to another homeschooling right. mama or another mama and say, mm -hmm. take these because we're never going to build them again. And now you right. have the instructions. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. I thought it was a great idea. Right. Very, very true. And if ever you do need the instructions, you know, you can find them online. As long as you have the um, the number to the set mm -hmm. purchased, yeah, That's you can good. pretty much find it online. And you can find, oh my gosh, got to tell you about the Rebrickable website. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It's called Rebrickable.com. And basically, I don't know who created it, but I love them, whoever it was. Because they created a way to rejuvenate your Lego pieces. If your kid is super bored with all the Lego that he's ever built, and then they're like, well, we want a new set. Well, that new set that they want, of course, is, of course, is $75 or more it, because it's always that price, right? Mm -hmm. And so you go on rebrickable.com, you download the instructions for the sets that they want. Now, these aren't the new sets that they're going to be able to find on um, in the stores, of course, but these are different sets that other people have made and have put the instructions of how to build awesome. on rebrickable.com. And for five measly dollars, you can turn all of your Lego into brand new Lego sets. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I have, if you can excuse me one second, I'm going to get this and show you. I've got to show this. Yeah, so so there's another comment um, uh, out there, Devin, about, yeah, there you go. I yeah. have a massive three ring, ring binder with all the case of papers. Yes, this is my kind of mama. Yeah, that okay. is really, really smart. Now, my son, I bought for him um, the Lego Boo set a few Christmases mm -hmm. ago. I think he was like eight or nine mm -hmm. when I bought it. That was a hundred and sixty dollar set. It's still a hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Lego boost set is still quite expensive, and he had built everything that he could build with the boost set. So mm -hmm. of course it was boring to him now, and he built his uh, you know a few of his own things. But with Rebrickable.com, he was able to build this. This is a robotic cube changer or cube solver. Nice. If anyone knows my son. He is very much into solving Rubik's cubes. Loves those things. This, he, you program it so it's actually coding as well. And you put the cube on the top there. And I'm not sure how it works, and I don't want to break it <laughs> because we were missing a piece. And we had to, I mean, it took days. I was online asking people, like begging people for Lego. Yes. Pieces. And I kept looking, I kept thinking I had some, but I couldn't find them. I mean, it was it was crazy because he was like, mommy, I really want to be. And I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> so uh, he found it. And well, we haven't had the heart to demo this, to demo this. It was too hard one. Yeah. Yeah. Because this one is actually a robotic um, set. And we got the instructions from Rebrickable.com. And so he can go on there and basically, uh oh, I better be careful with this. Sorry. He can go on there and look at some of the sets that other people have built mm -hmm. and put the instructions there. And for $5, sometimes they're $3, but usually no more than about $5. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're free. You can go on and then just download. And then there's always a video to kind of go with it. So oh, yeah. Nice. It, it was awesome. I, I printed out this booklet for him that had all the instructions. So that was, so this was for the, this particular build that he was doing. And so he, lo he loved it. He understood all these instructions and he had the, you know, the um, patience to actually sit and go through all of those. But I think that this is such a wonderful resource for kids. A, a great one. Um, yeah, who love Lego building, but now they're kind of bored. And the only way to get out of that boredom is to continue building new sets. Mm -hmm. Well, new sets cost money sometimes. And sometimes, you know, we just, we want to build with what we have, Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's we do. good. And save the sets for birthdays. <laughs> yes, absolutely. 
Absolutely. So, hey, parents and mamas that are watching us today, and you're whether even if you come back and watch the recorded, drop us a note on ideas that how you use Legos because yeah. that is something that we yeah. all like to share ideas and things like that. So, yes. if you have ideas or websites that you like to go to to help with Lego sets and how do we incorporate Legos mm -hmm. into learning, by all means, drop us a note. Um, yeah. below the video. We would love to hear it. All of us yeah. would. We would love to know oh, yeah. because I'm going to make sure this kindergartner, I'm going to start putting some stuff out, but I've got history ideas I didn't have. It wasn't even on my radar. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, I got, I got a history test idea. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe That's use it for my high schoolers. I wonder if it would work. I can't hmm. imagine that it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's our scavenger hunt for them. Yeah, absolutely. It's awesome. Tamika, your ideas have been fantastic. I know, they're awesome. Mom, well, if you have any questions, we have a few minutes. If not, we'll start to wrap up. So let us know real quick. But as always, she is in our group. She's a reoccurring mm -hmm. workshop leader. If you have ideas for her, you want to ask her how she does something. Yeah. Actually, we'll come back and do stuff. Absolutely. But, um, let I us love these workshops. <laughs> I know because I don't hardly ever get to see you other times. So. Oh, <laughs> maybe we need to do a virtual play date. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we'll have fun. Yes. But anyway, Mama, y'all got any questions? I'm giving y'all just a minute. But anyway, um. Let's see. What do we have this going on this week? Homeschool curriculum on Thursday. Absolutely. And we have data privacy. How do we keep our information private yes. oh, for us and for Friday, our kids right? on the Internet? That's, that's at Friday. If you want to attend the live session, it's at Friday two o'clock. But it will also be recorded and available inside of all the groups. So yeah. we really have an exciting week coming up. So we hope that you guys will join us for that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, mamas. Well, I have enjoyed tonight. This is just what I, I knew. Thank you, Tamika, for spending time and, and giving us your, your knowledge. We appreciate we do appreciate it. I'm not even Absolutely. kidding. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. You, but I'm I'm not kidding. And mamas, we will see you Thursday and Friday. Yes. Sounds awesome. Thanks everybody for joining us pleasure. tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so Tamika. Bye, everybody. All right. Have a good evening. Bye bye.